human sex trafficking continues to be a global issue that is growing, as well as a troubling crisis here in North Carolina. Our state is ninth in the nation for human trafficking cases. WRL's Grace Holland explains how state and community leaders are stepping up to end it. You know, this issue is near and dear to my heart. The issue is human sex trafficking. WREL's news anchor and MC Julian Grace, brought his own young sons. I wanted them to see and know um, that there are some unprincipled men and women in this world, but there are also those on the front lines that are fighting this. Participants learned about how substance abuse, mental health struggles, and domestic violence contribute to sex exploitation. Dawn Ferrer with Safe Place in Wilmington says in most cases, people are not forced into that lifestyle. But they're groomed and manipulated. Ferrer says our state is vulnerable to the growth of trafficking. Because of our highway system, the tourist industry, military bases, we all know there's more strip clubs in those areas where there's trafficking and exploitation. 2021 National Sex Trafficking Hotline statistics point to the ease of recruitment with 65 percent of trafficking and exploitation taking place online. It's also the most common method for grooming of boys today in the U.S. through online video gaming. The rule of thumb is any game, app, or website where you can interact with someone anonymously, there will be a predator. The effort to help rescue victims of trafficking has the support of U.S. Attorney Michael Easley, Jr. Our success has to also turn on the number of victims that we rescue and how we can get those victims stabilized to turn them from victims into survivors. Grace Holland, WREL News, Raleigh. And Don Farrow, who you saw in the piece there, says it's important for survivors of trafficking to share their stories of exploitation so that law enforcement and prosecutors can convict those who exploited them.